Hello and welcome to this video on how to optimize draw calls in Unity by merging materials. We are going to optimize this character model. If we look at him, he has one, two, three materials, the outfit, body parts and eyes. All of these materials are using the universal render pipeline lit material. Uh, we also have a quite large texture size for these materials. Uh, and the, we will compress this down. The way we are going to optimize this character is by an aggregation pipeline. So we go to the Simplicon menu, click Add Load Component, Template, Basic, Aggregation with Material Baking. In Settings we are going to disable Geometry Culling. The reason why we disable Geometry Culling is that if we look at the wireframe, then he has eyeballs uh, that are not visibly vis visible from the outside. And if we use geometry culling, these eyeballs will disappear and we are probably moving them around in animation. It has automatically detected the material channels we have on our model. So we have a base map, normal map, metallic map, occlusion map and emis uh, emission map. And for this character, emission is used on these antennas. To specify output texture size, we can go to Mapping Image Settings, Output Material Settings, and then we can specify the texture width and height. We're going to leave it at 1000. So we're now going from uh, a higher texture size to a lower, so we would expect some degradation in texture quality. After optimization, we get our model back. If we inspect our model, we can see that it now only uses one material for the entire model. So we can render this model in one draw call. As expected, we also have slightly uh, less texture quality, and that is because we're going from a higher texture size to a lower one. If we inspect the wireframe of the model, we can see that it's identical, so we haven't done anything with the geometry of the model. But say that we would also want to optimize the model uh, while we're optimizing the materials. What we're going to do then is to use another pipeline. We're going to use uh, a template basic and reduction with material baking pipeline. Uh, we're gonna leave um, the reduction settings as is, uh, so currently it will reduce down the triangle count to 50%. We can also look in mapping image settings, output texture, um, output material settings. Here we can specify that we still are using the same texture size, so 1000. Uh, as before, we also can specify which material channels to bake. Now let's try to do this one. And we are now done. If we look at the wireframe, we can see that it is much less dense. So we have removed 50% of all triangles in this one. Uh, the model still looks fine. Uh, and uh, as before, if we look at the materials, we can see that we only have one material for the entire model. Uh, I want to draw your attention to one thing, uh, and that is the output texture. So currently, uh, it looks a little bit strange. We can see that the eye takes up a huge portion of it, which is not something we would expect since the eye is a quite small detail on it. Let me explain what's going on. If we look at the original model 
and then look uh, at UV checker so we can see how dense the textures are. We can see that the eyes here are very dense compared to the rest of uh, the body. And Simplygon in its current configuration tries to preserve this. Uh, let's change so it doesn't do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to chart aggregation settings and then chart aggregation mode. It defaults to texture size proportions where it tries to use the input texture density uh, which is very high in uh, our case for the eyes. We're going to change this to surface area. In surface area mode the actual uh, geometry size in the world is what uh, what scales the output texture charge. So let's try to do another uh, reduction. And now we are done. Uh, we can inspect the wireframe and see that we still have uh, a less dense wireframe, so we're still using reduction. Uh, if we look, uh, one thing that we will notice if we look closely, for example, at these arms, is that we now have much more nice texture quality. Uh, and the reason for that is that if we look at uh, the generated texture, we can see that it is now much more sane. Uh, the eye is now just a tiny part of the texture. And, that, and since we have better UV map usage, we now have a more nice texture quality overall. So, that is all for today. I hope that you have learned something useful. If you want uh, more tips on how to use Simplygon to optimize Unity games, uh, please follow our YouTube channel. Thank you for listening.